log into the system using your email address and password. Check Remember Me if you want the browser to remember your email address for next time. This is the home screen. Here you can see system information. Many of these link to reports showing additional detail. The Favorites bar allows you to place shortcuts and action buttons right on your home screen. They are individual to you and can easily be added. The navigation bar shows wherever you are in the software and allows you to navigate around. Home, dashboards, reports, site plans, people, rules, and devices. Your available options may change depending on your permissions. As well as clicking on each item, you can expand to see subgroups. The ribbon bar appears at the top of the screen. It shows all the controls you may need, based on where you are in the software. You can hide the ribbon bar to make the most of your screen size. The ribbon bar can be expanded by simply clicking anywhere in the title bar. Once finished, it will automatically hide away. When navigating through the software, a breadcrumb will be created allowing you to see exactly where you were, as well as navigating back if required. Every element in Paxton 10 can be organized into groups. Groups can be created simply and easily. There is no limit to the number of groups you can create or the levels of nesting. Paxton 10 supports dragging and dropping. This allows you to easily move people into a group, for example. You can also drag and drop onto the breadcrumb. Dragging and dropping can also be done with touchscreen devices using a long press. Paxton 10 supports mouse right-click for contextual menus. For example, I can click on a person to view associated events records or video footage. Right-click functionality can also be done with touchscreen devices using a long press. Software wizards are available to help you with common tasks. These are available by clicking the question mark icon in the title bar and include adding a user, viewing reports, and much more. System settings can be accessed by clicking the cog icon in the title bar. Your profile is also shown in the title bar, and from here you can set your preferences and log out. If you are administering the Paxton 10 system on your mobile device, simply download the Paxton Connect app and enter your site and login details. These can be retained to allow quick and secure biometric login next time. The user interface will adjust according to your screen size to ensure that everything is in the appropriate format. More information can be found in the Administering Paxton 10 with a Mobile Device video. Thanks for watching. For more information about Paxton 10, check out some of our other videos.